Walloon was brought to Northeast Wisconsin in the 1850s by Belgian immigrants. So the immigrants brought different words and sayings with them. Over time, the language evolved as the need for new words arose. Wisconsin Walloon is referred to locally as Belgian. Wisconsin Walloon is an endangered language because most fluent speakers are now in their 70s and 80s. I couldn't talk English when we went to school, just for the reason that they all talked English at home, but my grandparents couldn't talk it. And Francis, my brother, and I were always with grandpa and grandma. So when we got to school, we had a teacher that could understand Belgian. And so that helped us a lot. They all talked Belgian when they came from Europe. That's what they talked. They talked Belgian. And my grandpa and grandma, they all talked Belgian too. You know, that's about all they could say. So my, but they all lived in the same house. You know, they all took, you know, families all stayed just like they do in Europe now. And that's why I was, I was talk Belgian there. But then when I, when I went to school and um, I went over there, I didn't know nothing in, in the... Brought up with grandpa and grandma, and they could not speak English, so that's how, that's how I didn't know English. So I had to go to school for two years to learn in school. My family came in 1856, and... Uh, well, then everybody, as the generations went, we all stayed in the same house. And when my grandpa's sister, uh, her husband came from Belgium later when she married him, I don't know what year that was, and uh, he never talked English, but we would talk Bel English to him and he would answer us in Belgian. So, you know, it was easy for us to remember uh, Belgian. And when my sister went to school, she didn't talk uh, English. But then, well, my mother said when I came along, which was 11 and a half years later, she said, Jane has to talk to link turn English. She just can't talk Belgian. So that's how I got to talking. And every time we'd go to Green Bay when I was little, my mother would say, and now don't you talk Belgian over there. <laughs> Not too many that understand Walloon yet. I got a few neighbors, and we would we get together after church or for breakfast, and we talk Walloon. But there aren't too many after. The language seems to be petering out. But there's some people, young people, that are interested. We have about 20 some people that come to the Belgian speaking club, and they enjoy reading some words and learn something all the time. So.